It's a beautiful old farm, um, but it needs a lot of love. And there we go into the second living room. We have encountered our first major issue. Like here. It looks pretty damaged. We found another, this part of the beam is basically pulp. We need some expert advice and they all signed and said, mm -mm -mm, that's serious. The next step is to just clear all the beams.
We carefully removed the herringbone floor because that was really real solid wood and we might be able to reuse that uh, somewhere in the house later. And underneath we found a cement layer that seems to be tarred over um, with this black um, material that is probably there to prevent moisture from coming up. We'll have to take that out too. We are in the middle room of the ground floor today and we are going to work on uh, exposing all of the wood beams. If you remember from the last video, some of the beams in our half-timbered house are damaged or kind of rotten and um, that's not good because they are part of the structure of this house. So we have to excavate all of them, take all of the plaster off so that we can see them and judge whether or not they are good or that they need to be replaced. So let's carry on.
I'm in the coffee room right now. I just spent some hours uh, removing uh, the initial plaster layer to expose uh, the wooden beams. And uh, for one, this looks uh, quite beautiful. I mean, the pattern of the beams right here, we mean to expose these in the final rendition of the house and that will look great. Don't you agree? Write in the comments if you agree or not. But I think this pattern is great. Then we find ourselves with an old door. There used to be a door in this wall. Now isn't that great? It's a bit of a low door. So if I hold the camera on eye level and walk towards it, you can see uh, I will bump my head for sure. Um, so, if we want to um, make a passage, and we do, actually, we do want that, we could use this door. That would save us from altering this structure here. Um, but we will have to make this top post beam higher to uh, fit modern people. Then we move to this area. The plaster in this corner came off extremely easily. Uh, I didn't even uh, put in the effort. As you can see, I left all the middle parts. For now, that does, doesn't have priority. It, the priority now is to inspect all the wood. And the rest will come later. But without any effort, this part came off. It came off all by itself and uh, the reason is there has been some damage done inside. Uh, the worst part is this wood here. It looks like a sponge. It doesn't even look like wood anymore. So there has been a feast inside of here. Basically this whole part has been a complete insect ecosystem. We find um, wood-eating uh, uh, insects that must have lived here, but also spider webs, one or two. This is completely eaten up by whatever. More spider webs. This must have been a lively insect city once. Not now, not anymore. It's completely dried out and completely barren. But anyway, um, this is only the filling between the wood. For us it's important if these main structures are still okay. And they are, as far as we can see right now. Only when we go really low, like in those corners, there the wood becomes worse in quality. We will have to replace the lower parts of the beams almost completely. But for now, let's carry on with this project.
we made progress. This wall is almost finished. Uh, most of it uh, came off pretty easily. The original very old plaster uh, can be removed with a hammer and a chisel. But for instance, on this part where there was a door uh, that had been filled in, the uh, plaster layer was more recent and they had used chicken wire to uh, adhere it to the, to the stones and that made it much harder to um, take off. We are going to continue with this room and we already know that one of the other walls is um, even more recently plastered and they have used uh, really a cement plaster um, with the chicken wire. So we are thinking that we cannot use the hammer and chisel method and that we're going to use, have to use a power tool. We'll see, we'll just carry on. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is not interesting. This is a YouTube video. There should be life and action. Stop it. Cut, cut, cut. 